Welcome! My name is José Carlos Ciclo Seuani, also known as Cainho, and I'll be your host in this video. On behalf of Elisa and Julia, our graduate students, and Pedro, who is the co-supervisor. Digital bathymetry modules represent the original geomorphology and are essential for better understanding submerged areas. Remote sensing through echo sounding is adequate for mapping, causing no direct interference to the sensitive environment. Survey methods include lead line, single, and multi beam, with quality increasing and survey time decreasing as costs rise. Lead line was common for much of the last century, but has almost been abandoned now. Single beam surveys left are adequate for small areas and can be achieved with very low costs, as sounders and GPS antennae have become more common. This way, fuel and personal costs account for much of the total cost. Multi beam, on the other hand, remains the gold standard and is necessary for larger and deeper areas. Echo sounder parameters include beam frequency and usually two are available. The best signal is recorded. The lower frequency footprint is useful for areas shallower than 15 meters as the area covered by the footprint becomes too big deeper than that. Marine protected area Costa dos Corais spans two states in northeast Brazil and is the largest of its kind in the country. New no-take zones are currently being implemented and please watch Gisleine Lima's video elsewhere in this event for more information on the topic. A previous scout survey for the new no-take zones identified a reef at about 20 meters depth and a 15 square kilometer area was chosen for the tailed surveying using a commercial echo sounder attached to a GPS single beam. While the shallow reefs are readily visible in the satellite imagery, the deeper features are harder to detect, even in this beautiful natural color rapid eye image, which is courtesy of the Allen Coral Atlas. And please watch Julia Caon's video elsewhere in this event for more information on the Atlas. And so we set sail, and over 18,000 data points were surveyed, tide corrected, and classified. Depth varies from less than 1.5 meters to over 21 meters. A hotter to cooler color fade is chosen to display depth in this illustration. From brownish to yellow to green, blue, purple, pinkish, and white colors for increasing depth. Trial modeling of the continuous bathymetric surface has achieved the best results so far using a multi-quadratic radial basis function, or RBF. Using this interpolator, we have generated a 15-meter pixel digital bathymetry model with a submetrical error of 0.46 meters vertical. Field validation of the model is pending and has been postponed due to the current pandemic. Two other marine protected areas in the state of Bahia had similar results of submetric errors using RBF interpolators, although tighter grids were used. Coroa Alta was surveyed between June 2014 and April 2015. Results presented here were published as a poster, downloadable at the Coral Vivo site. The Cifi de Fora was our first experience in surveying using a commercial echo sounder back in June of 2007. Published material is available both at the Coral Reef site and at international and national periodicals. Color classification, shaded relief, slope, aspect and curvature allow for the detailed classification of reef morphology, which is of great value to marine protected area management. Reef morphology features such as reef front, 
back reef, shallow and deep reef flats, sandy beaches, tidal pools, pinnacles, and aggregate patch reefs and algal reefs all have their defining features tabulated, providing a base map to understand the ecosystem. We have presented you a low-cost methodology which has the potential to become widely applied.